What's up everybody? So in this video, we're going to be talking about membranes and membrane transport. Remember, this is an HL video and this is B2.1. So in this chapter, I decided to split it into two videos because there are two completely different concepts that I didn't see worthwhile forcing into one longer video. So these are the two separate videos that I made, two different concepts. You can see this video here is about membrane transport and this one here is about cell fluidity and adhesion. See, two different concepts. So make sure you watch those two videos if you really want to nail B2.1, okay? So now, Let's get into it. So for membrane transport, remember, right, we have, we're have we made up of so many of these cells and they have this layer surrounding the cell called the plasma membrane, right? Now this plasma membrane, if we zoomed into it, it looks a lot like this, right? And we learn a lot about it in standard level. We also know that things need to pass through this membrane into our cell and things need to leave our cell to, and pass through this membrane, right? So we call that membrane transport when things come into our cell through this plasma membrane or out of our cell through this plasma membrane. There are so many ways in which things can be transported and we covered a lot of them in SL. All of these four we already covered, right? From simple diffusion all the way to active transport. Now in this video, for higher level, we need to cover um, endocytosis and exocytosis, which is a completely new concept for HL. SL doesn't even know about it. And then for facilitated diffusion and active transport, we need to cover more in more detail. So you can see where I put these three suns, that's what we got to cover, cover in more detail today. Okay, we're not going to look at osmosis or simple diffusion anymore. Okay, That's an SL concept that you should know by now. So let's get into endocytosis. So look here at this picture, right? We got our, we're zooming in, in in here to the membrane area. See this little membrane? You can see here, made up the phospholipids and the cholesterol. Remember the cholesterol helps make this membrane nice and fluid and bendy and all that, right? We covered all that, why this membrane can be fluid and bendy in this video. So make sure you watch that at some point, yeah? Um, don't worry about it for now. Okay, so you can see here, this is, this uh, part here is gonna be the inside of our cell. And this part here will be the outside of our cell. And this here is one of the proteins embedded within our plasma membrane. Now, what exactly is endocytosis? So it's a kind of membrane transport. If you look at the name itself, endo means um, inside, and site, site means cell, and osis means the process of. So if you put that all together, endocytosis is the process of moving something into the cell. That's very important, into the cell. So more specifically, it is the movement of large molecules, large molecules like macromolecules and large amount of material across the plasma membrane because we know things like simple diffusion can also bring things in into the, into the, into the cell, but it's typically smaller things, right? Smaller things. And those smaller things just go through the membrane without the membrane even bending or changing shape. Or they even, in facilitated diffusion, they could use these proteins and these things could just travel straight through the proteins. So that's also, um, so that, that's also ways in which things can come in. But for endocytosis, the thing doesn't go through the membrane. The membrane wraps around the thing and brings it into the cell. So that's very important. So it's the movement of large molecules and large amount of material across the plasma membrane and inwards, okay? When we go from inside to outside, that's a different process. From outside to inside, it's called endocytosis. So how does it work? We can see, because of the fact that the membrane can be very fluid, we can see it can kind of bend and kind of start wrapping around, almost like a hand grabbing something. It's kind of starting to wrap around it. You can see this part here of the membrane um, starts bending around this this object. So for example, let's say this is like a bacteria that the cell is trying to take in so that it can destroy this bacteria because this bacteria is trying to infect us. So we can see this part of the cell is bending around it and eventually this part here of this, of this plasma membrane will meet this part here and they will fuse again. So the membrane will not stay broken. It will wrap around this thing and this thing will um, pop off as a little vesicle, but the membrane will meet okay, as that happens. So the membrane will stay connected. So don't think that there's going to be a hole in the membrane now. Now this little vesicle that's, that's formed, this plasma membrane that wrapped around this, this, um, this object is now called a vesicle. 
You can think of it like a little vehicle, okay? Like a little vehicle, vesicle and vehicle. It's a little thing that's gonna move around in our body and transport this thing to where it needs to go next, okay? Like a little taxi. So in this case, if this is a bacteria, we wanna transport it to a place where we can destroy it. Okay, awesome. Now, for uh, endocytosis, I want you to know um, that you can see this kind of transport does not make use of the protein channel, okay? It makes use of the membrane wrapping around the object. So that's different from other kinds of transport that uses um, these, these protein channels. So endocytosis does not use these protein channels. For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.